It is joy to be with you this evening, even as we share the love of God with you. I am Reverend Joseph Aduse, and then tonight I'm here with Mama. Mama, can you say something? Hello, good evening. My name is Cecilia, and it's a privilege to be here with Pastor Joseph and Pastor Mike on this broadcasting. Today, we are here, and we know that this program is being broadcasted all over the world. And it's our, it's our privilege, and we hope, and we are trusting God, that by the time this program is finished, mm. you will experience the touch of God in your heart. Awesome. awesome. And we also pray that the God, Almighty God himself will give you a word, a word that will inspire you, a word that will encourage you, so that if you have lost your track with God, you will mm. be able to come back That's and be restored to your former glory. Oh my Lord. In the meantime, I ask you to stay tuned as Pastor brings us the word of God. Amen. Amen. Oh, that's awesome. Thank you, Mama. Amen. We call this program presented by Pentecostal Baptist Church, Restore, Restore. Restore. It is our prayer that by the end of this program, mm -hmm. you will be restored back to your original place that God intended for you. Amen. I want to share with you. I want to talk to somebody. It is always my passion when we talk about this word, restore, restore. When I speak about restoration. You see, the desire of God for your life as a child of God is that you will enjoy life. Enjoy it in its fullness. Yes. That is what God intends for you. He says that you might have life and have it in abundance. The writer of John says that you will prosper and be in good health even as your soul prosper. Mm -hmm, yeah. That is the desire of God for you as a child of God. But somehow, as you are watching me this evening tonight, as you're watching me in the comfort of your home or wherever you might be, maybe you are not experiencing this joy. You are not experiencing this abundance of life overflowing in your life. Confused, anxiety, perplexed, shame, degradation. Everything you touch falls apart. And you are sitting down there and I'm talking to you that God can restore you. Amen. I want to assure someone there, as you are watching me, I want you to know and understand that God is anxious to restore you as he's promising the word of God. Hallelujah. You see, God wants you to be in your original position that you were created to be in. That is in the image of God. And in the image of God, you can experience the attributes of God. And the attributes of God defines the character of God. Okay. And the character of God portrays the nature of God. And what is the nature of God? The nature of God is that God is love. God is so peaceful. There is joy in God. There is power nice. in God. These are the natures of God. These are the attributes of God. Of course... We cannot express all the total attributes of God. But some of the attributes, you and I as a child of God, can manifest them. But somehow you are not experiencing this peace. But tonight, I am here to announce the good news that God is the restorer of your soul. Amen. If you will only apply the principle that we are going to talk about tonight your life will be turned around and you will experience the fullness of God in your life. Your situation will be turned around. I believe that. I believe the God that we are talking about. You see, I'm not here to preach to anybody. I'm here always to share my life experience. Because as we sit down here with Mama and Pastor Michael, we are living testimony to what God can do. We are living testimony to the things that God can do in your life if you only stretch your hands. In fact, even as I'm talking to you, that young man watching me, 
As I'm talking to you, the phone lines have been activated. You can call the numbers on the screen and there's somebody waiting to pray for you. If you need restoration over the situation that you find yourself in, if you need restoration over your health, restoration at your workplace, restoration with your spiritual work with God, tonight is the night of decision. Amen. God in his own wisdom has brought this program. Restore, restore. That is my calling. Hallelujah. I am talking about something that I have experienced myself. I went through so much for shaking, trotting upon, neglected and rejected, afflicted, not because of what the devil put upon me, because of some of the bad decisions that I made. But thank God, God is the restorer of our faith and our soul, Amen. and he changed the situation around. Hallelujah. The Bible says something, that if you will tonight... Stretch your hands and touch the hands of God. You will be restored. Amen. Friend, let me say something to you. As we always go to church, at Pentecostal Baptist Church, and we share that which God is doing in our lives, God has never failed his children. I can assure you about that. I'm talking about restoration. The principle of restoration and the means by which you, that is what you mean, can receive that which I'm talking about depends upon you as an individual. If you will only apply this principle that I'm talking about, or I'll be talking about soon, your life will be turned around. Amen. I say your life will be turned around. Amen. In fact, I see God's hands ready to touch your situation. Yes. I see God ready to impact, to bring favor, to bring some breakthroughs over your life. Amen. God is ready to impact. The lines are open. Just call someone. Just call these lines, these numbers. And these men, these men of faith, these prayer warriors are there to impact something upon your life. Amen. I am so passionate about this. I am so angry anytime I see what the devil is doing to the children of God. I am telling you there is hope for your situation that you find yourself in. Don't let the devil trample over you. Don't let people laugh at you. The devil can stretch his hands at you. But God's hands is much more powerful. Amen. Your situation will be turned around. Amen. You see, people always ask me when I talk about restoration. My life is a living testimony. When we read Alan, if you can read for us, when you read your Bible in the book of Joel, chapter 2, man of God is awesome. Verses 25 to 26. Darling, can you read it for us, please? Joel 2, 25 to 26. Yes. I will restore you for the years the locusts have eaten, mm. the great locusts and the young ones. The other locust and the locust swarm. Oh, awesome. my great army that I sent among you. Yes. You will have plenty to eat yes. until you are full. God, and yes. you will praise the name of the Lord your oh, God, yes. who has worked wonders for you. Mm. Never again will my people be shamed. Ah, Amen. Yes. The years, the Bible says, the years that you were supposed to prosper. The years represent a specific period of your, time, of your life. The time that you were meant to prosper, the time that you were meant to have plenty, those years the enemy took away your blessings that was yours. But the Bible says that God is going to change the situation around. Amen. You know what? The Bible says that it is the aim of the enemy to come and steal from you to destroy your life and eventually to kill your visions, aspiration, your creativity. That is the aim of the devil. He comes to steal, to destroy, and to kill. So his ultimate aim is that to bring shame upon you. But tonight, the good news is that the name, the integrity of God's name is at stake. Darling, if you read Joel chapter 2 verse 17, it says something that I love so much. Verse 17, the same place that you read, Joel 2, verse 17. 
Joel 2, 17 says, Let the priests who mm. minister before the Lord mm. weep between the temple porch and the altar. Let them say, Spare your people, O Lord. Do not make your inheritance an object of scorn, mm. a byword among the nations. Mm. Why should they say among the people, Where is their God? Why? Look, as you're watching me, the situation that you find yourself in, God is not happy with it. The life that you are leading, God is not happy with it. Why? Because as a child of God, God's integrity is at stake. When you are going through defeat, when you are going through degradation, when you are going through shame, the name of God, the integrity name of God is at stake. Where is their God? They said. And because the name of God is at stake and his integrity at stake, God will do everything within his power to restore you to your original position. Amen. Or original place, original glory, so that you will reflect the image of God. Amen. Therefore, when you are restored back, you will learn to praise the name of the mighty Hallelujah. God. Keep falling. I see breakthrough over your life. People are ready to pray with you. People are ready to counsel you. That situation that you find yourself in, the shame that you find yourself in, the agony that you find yourself in, all doors are close to you, at you. All doors are close. The heavens are close over you. God says he's ready to restore. And all that the enemy has stolen away from you, God will bring it back to you. Amen. In the name of Jesus. We meet at Thunder Heads Leisure Center on every Sunday, just on the high road, Thunder Heads High Street. It's just close to the Tesco food store. Every Sunday at 12 p.m. to 2 p.m. Come and join us and you will experience the power of God over your life. Amen. In the name of Jesus, don't forget Thunder Heads High Street every Sunday, 12 p.m. to 2 p.m. God richly bless you. Meeting you again next week Hallelujah. as God desires to restore you. Be restored in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen.